world is burning. Let's memester bait. Hi, Guardian Spice, the new Steven Universe. Back in August of 2018, aka three years ago, when you could still kind of have an opinion without being canceled. We've been preparing our whole lives for this day. All of the dreams will soon come true. It's dang. High Guardian Spice was teased on the internet for a 2019 release. It was so poorly received by subscribers of Crunchyroll Premium that they immediately sprang into action and fixed the issue. Good work, Crunchyroll. What did they do, Stu? Oh. They uh, removed comments and the likes and dicks like speech here. And then they memory hold it for three years. This was obviously in the 48 Laws of Power. Never admit your anime is garbage, and the fans are all bigots. It's a very modern reflection of the world. Our characters are really diverse, our cast is really diverse, and that's one of the things that excited me the most about it. This just in for idiot news. We just saw Kate. Now she looks like the typical person you'd expect to be on the writing staff for this. And I bet you already know what type of tweets she makes. Would you like to read a few children? I knew you would. Star Wars starring a woman and a non-white male. I am excited. Okay. I could never be a bartender because as soon as dudes talk to me unprompted, I just give them death stares. Brave and stunning. I guarantee you that any man who unironically refers to himself as a gentleman is the furthest thing from it. Oh boy. I've always uh, uh, said that I'm a dirt bag and uh, you'll never get anything less from me. Come the hour, come the man. Don't call waitresses sweetie or I will want so badly to skin you alive. Replace every dude character with a woman. Replace every white character with a non-white person. Go for it, I'm in 100%. That Star Wars girl sent this to me by the way, so it was a woman who sent this to me. Watch old men hit on young female bartenders, wait staff makes me want to throw up swords directly into their spine, into their spleens, forgive me. What is this chick's problem? She go to bars and just sit and hate men? You know, it's like, ugh, he's talking to that waitress, the dirty old man. How, like, m like you have to be just so full of hate. But when I go to bars, I don't sit there and think, ugh, what's she doing over there? I don't even think that. I think, uh, I don't like this drink much. And I don't care about the sports that they're playing. This sucks ass. <laughs> you know, that's as far as my brain goes. This broad sees a dude and she wants him dead. Did I date a married man? Yup. Well, that's just lovely. Did he die of colon cancer? Yeah. Don't know why you want to share that. Drag her. Slay her. Sipping on that true tea, hunty. <sighs> Gag. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to break down thinking about all the violent hate I see is by mostly white men. Why? Stop, stop. And she literally has the hashtag kill all men. Could someone explain this to me? Every time I'm angry, I just yell the patriarchy. And I'm usually right, by the way. I hope that's satire. Men have to be the only oppressor class in history who are less educated, more victimized, and have shorter lives than those they oppress. They must be the only oppressor class who have claimed society's gritty, dangerous jobs as their exclusive preserve. They're trying to decide on the slogan for 2015, torn between why not and nothing's weird, but my vote is still for kill all men. What a lovely girl. Men are trash. John McCain battling brain cancer returns to Senate and casts vote to move ahead on repeal of Obamacare. So that set her off. Here's the question for today. Why are men so gross? As you can see, she's very fun. She's full of love. She is a tender hearted woman. <laughs> very tender. My God. Why am I growing up in this day and age? This timeline sucks dick. I'd build a time machine just to go back in time to 80s to have a successful music career and be around hot chicks that didn't do this. Like the most... You know, I don't really like convertibles because they mess up my hair 
And I go, I'm sorry, Candy. We're we're getting a we're not getting a convertible then, my dear. We have to make sure your hair is lovely. You're fantastic, Candy. I like you too. You know that I got my name because I was a stripper and I was sweet like Candy. Yes, Candy, because you are sweet. To hell with 2021 women. This is what. No, take me back. Diamond Dave, save me. I hate my life. I'm sick of living. I'm sick of this. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. Diversity, the state of being diverse. Variety. There was considerable diversity in the style of the reports, the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders, sexual orientations, etc. Hi, Guardian Spice's first trailer touted diversity by having an all-female writing staff and 50% of the production staff was female. Sounds very diverse. It was full of white women and lesbians. That sounds more like a girls club to me, you bigots. Really, High Guardian Spice was before its time, in all honesty. I mean, it's a perfect fit for 2021. Another failure of an American anime quotation marks that looks like everything we've already seen. God, creativity is truly dead. Frankly, whenever I hear diversity, I know it will languish in every other important aspect of creativity or animation. Because the focus isn't about story or good artist or anything that might be slightly outside of the box. It's more about checking off boxes. You see, when things are more focused on diversity, inclusion, and representation, you spend more time working on a committee to make sure that everyone has an equal voice and nothing interesting. And when that many people are involved, nothing good can come of it. I mean, let's think of it. Star Wars, one guy. Lord of the Rings, one guy. Oh, she's sensing a theme here. High Guardian Spice, 90% women. And what do women do? Talk too much, debate, and delegate. Oh, well, uh, Francine felt that this was problematic, so we're probably going to take it out of the show because we don't want to feel, we don't want people to feel like they're excluded from the show. Yes, that's right. We don't want people feeling they're excluded. And then all the creativity is out of the window because you're too busy worrying about what might be offensive. And usually things that are offensive are what's interesting. That's why everyone around the world is talking about Chris Chan. It's screwed up, but my God, it's the most interesting thing going on. A YouTube personality called Chris Chan has just been arrested in Virginia on, of all things, incest charges. Authorities say Chan was having sex with his 79-year-old mom. Continue, Stu. No, unacceptable. Oh, wait, what is it, Stu? Oh, I mean the show is groundbreaking. Acceptable. Looks like someone's about to get an A. And what it represents. The fact that Crunchyroll Originals is doing this as a 2D animated series, it's giving us an opportunity to do things artistically that a lot of other shows and other studios really have forgotten how to do. We By following the rules, you're guaranteed to make a mediocre product that no one can relate to. This has to be the funniest quote in all of High Guardian Spice. What's so artistic about High Guardian Spice? I mean, really. It looks like another Tumblr-styled show. If you read the comments, everyone screams Steven Universe. What are you doing different? It's just a different version of She-Ra. My God, you guys didn't even bother hiring someone that knew how to draw a human form correctly. Probably because they felt that the human body would be offensive. Um, I don't want to fall into the same tropes of what a female man male body should look like. Because that's not what real bodies look like. Yeah. I mean, it's the jelly bean art style. Cringy writing that's so bad anyone over eight would hate it. You've got to be brave if you want to be a guardian. I don't know if I can do this. You're gonna be a perfect guardian. Like what's new about this show? We have four shows already about this sort of stuff. I don't think anyone has seen stories quite like the ones that we're going to tell. Oh, we already know what you're going to do, darling. And it's far from groundbreaking. In fact, it's a tried and true formula of mediocrity that we now live in. So Crunchyroll hid away High Guardian Spice like an unwanted pregnancy that the family pretended was a baby sister, when in all actuality, it was a granddaughter. But now, 
in this hyper woke time of 2021 where everyone's special, everyone's amazing, everyone's different, everyone has a special sexuality, but they're also oppressed, they're also marginalized, they can't do anything, they can't get any jobs, and the world's problematic. The spice must flow. We've been preparing our whole lives for this day. All of our dreams will still come true if we only try. High Guardian Spice feels like a lame version of Konosuba mixed with My Hero Academia. It's as if the creators saw those shows and said to themselves, Let's do this, but make it suck! All of our hopes come shining through. Come on, future guardians of Lingard. It's just up ahead. We welcome you, our first year students. After watching this, I realized I'm punishing myself because deep down inside, I feel I deserve to suffer for all my failures and choices in life have brought me here to watching High Guardian Spice. Nietzsche was right. God is dead and the American anime industry killed him. I'm going to be so great at magic. <laughs> Your courage fails you, you will forfeit your guardianship. Inspirational. The soundtrack sounds like Gem and the Holograms that fell on hard times. From the top of the pops to turning tricks, how Gem and the Holograms bounce back by making the official soundtrack for High Guardian Spice. Can I make that voice anymore, Stu? I had one video flagged for hate speech because I did a gay voice. like, whoa, mister, we found that offensive. Good lord, you <laughs> would know a good time if it bit you in the ass and gave you a line of blow. Victory! My mom, she went off on some mission, but she never came back. Mommy! Is the level of magic in the earth fading? We have to undo this. Why are you after us? Kill the <laughs> I love how the tone shifts and it, it, at this point in the trailer it's supposed to be like endgame you know when Thanos like snaps his finger and you know what's going on sort of crap but instead of it being like Thanos and interesting it's a crumbly drawn ghost that sounds like Count Chocula. We are not calling ourselves that. And the trailer ends on an unfunny note, much like the theme of the entire show. Nothing was funny or cute here. It was all just painfully evident that it was creatively bankrupt. And uh, judging from the comments, the show was based on a show that they couldn't get, so they figured they'd make it. What burns people's ass about High Guardian Spice was originally when this was shown off back in 2018. Crunchyroll had a premium subscription service, so I guess you paid more money for it. I don't know. I never used Crunchyroll. And the money was touted to go to Japanese artists and creators, which would help, obviously, the anime industry flourish. On top of that, Crunchyroll is supposed to be anime, right, bro? What people want from Crunchyroll is more anime. What people don't want is High Guardian Spice. So Crunchyroll taking this money to make this obvious vomit just really burn their fan base. So they hit it for a while and now they're gonna put it out because now's the perfect time. In this climate we're in where this sort of garbage flies every five seconds and it crashes and burns, but like the media and Twitter screams like it's the greatest thing that ever happened. I got nothing for you. It's par for the course. Hello, it's Sunday. We've been here before. Well, for the time being, comments are still up on High Guardian Spice, so feel free to let them know you think this sucks. And if you ever needed more proof that like Twitter is a cursed landscape of virtue signalers that do nothing but virtue signal, this is a, a key point. High Guardian Spice is uh, largely lambasted on YouTube. It's not ratioed on Twitter, even though most people commenting it says it sucks. But you know what I mean. It feels like this show only exists because Crunchyroll couldn't get the rights to Witch Academy. So they just went and made their own version of it instead. Yeah. That's a Crunchyroll move. Like, Crunchyroll's genuinely amazing. Wasn't there like some other Crunchyroll original that was so terrible? Oh my god, Crunchyroll. It's like, for real, Crunchyroll. This isn't constructive criticism. This is advice. Stop. This needs to stop. Like, 
don't make any more originals. Whatever money you're making that you think you could put towards an original, don't. Take that money and just put it, give it to the animators in Japan. Don't make your own studio. Don't try any funny business. That's all. Just do that. No one wants this. This is garbage. This literally looks like something from a PlayStation 1 game. You know, like the animated movie at the beginning. I'll be nice to say PlayStation 2. This is hot, wet garbage. Um, High Guardian Spice? Yeah, I got nothing. You know this isn't going to fly. You know it. I know it. We know it. Everyone knows it. It's cliche. It's mundane. It's homogenous. It's boring. It's predictable. It is uninspiring. It is like a children's cartoon. This is an anime. Just because you gave some characters a slight anime aesthetic in their face doesn't make it anime. Stop it. You need some help. You're like a drunk that won't stop drinking. You literally crashed your car into a building and set an orphanage on fire. And you're walking down the street with a fifth of vodka in your fucking hand like nothing's wrong. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. And it's like, this is, no, terrible. These two shows. I'm sorry, X-Arm triggered me. I forgot how bad that anime was. Dude, that trailer was so bad when it originally came out, I was going to do a video on it. But I hated the trailer so much, I just walked away. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, making sure that me being on the internet is somewhat profitable. Now I have two bags of packaged tuna. These wallets can hold up to 12 cards. They come in 30 different stylistic colors. I'm showing you burnt titanium and 18 karat gold because that's how large I'm living. I'm hood rich. These wallets have over 40,000 five-star ratings. Bulletproof, RFID blocking technology. You could take a chainsaw to it. I don't know why you would, but the option's there. If it ever really, you know, like if your wife left you and you decided she wasn't even getting your Ridge wallet, Oh, wait, no, it would survive the chainsaw. Forget that. Sorry. Go to RidgeWallet.com slash It's a Gundam and use their unique promo code It's a Gundam to save 10% off of your order on your next purchase. Free worldwide shipping and returns if you don't like the wallet.